city in the desert where the people are coming. Anywhere else in the world, it takes 20 years to set up a functioning community. We did it in months. It is now coming to real life. They have to walk across the desert and sometimes they get lost. You know, you know this was our fence. Now I want to see the caravans now. Nida is not here today. I hope we will see her tomorrow. I always hope that it goes smooth. I always do. But you never know what comes up. These caravans is in fact a donation primarily coming from countries from Kuwait, Saudi Arabia a lot, um, Qatar, Oman. So we're getting closer where the caravans are actually being placed. And this is, of course, a big moment for people who have been here, many of them for eight months, seven months, six months, sitting in tents, and now finally getting, getting their prefab, their caravan. Bringing these caravans into the old camp is a major cha challenge because space is something which is scarce here. So we're, we have to squeeze a bit more than we would usually do. There's always moments of injustice. People feel that they should get, they should get one of these caravans now, now, now. Okay. You're not going to solve this with me because I have no clue. That's amongst amongst uh, yourself. Let's go. We are in uh, Old Camp, East Side, uh, 3rd Street. We're allocating uh, Omani caravan. Where are you? شوي we say refugees, healing refugees or Syrian healing Syrians. This is possible to work together on one project. I do this job because I love to put smiles on people's faces. Have they had enough water? It's always tough when you see little kids in that sort of situation. Because what, what do they know about what's going on in Syria? They're just trying to survive. You don't stop me from getting out of my compound. You got what you wanted. So you're my friend.